What did you think about Pacquiao's performance on Saturday? Um, <laughs> Sorry, we took like 10 takes for that one question. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so going into uh, this fight as a fan and knowing I was going to watch it and everything, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, I guess I didn't know what kind of Pacquiao I was going to get because when the last time I saw Pacquiao fight, my guess was that he fought, fought down to his opponent and took rounds off and really didn't give it at all. But I didn't know for sure. For all I knew, the last time he fought, that was just him at his top. Maybe he was fighting his ass off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all he had. Like so, but that was the like what I had like thought. And so, but it's been a whole year, and you know he's thirty nine, yeah. right? And so I I didn't know what to expect. For all I know, it could all been like all of a sudden the last time I saw Roy Jones Jr. fight. Uh, <laughs> I know. Um, so I didn't know what to expect, but I was hopeful that I would um, see some version of, like, the Pacquiao I know and love in the ring. Vintage Pacquiao. <laughs> and I felt like that's what I got. Yeah. I got um, what, what, I, what I wanted, which was it wasn't going to be Pacquiao in his prime, but, like, Pacquiao, even, like, outside of his prime, below his prime, however you want to say that, man, he's still, like, more skilled and faster than many of the welterweights out there. Yeah. And so I was really glad, and it looked like to me that I saw Pacquiao for seven rounds, he fought. Yeah. And I couldn't even, we had some trouble with the ESPN app. Or so from what I saw. It could have been our internet. Uh, but yeah. Uh, from what I saw, um, I didn't see Pacquiao take rounds off, and I couldn't even, like, I didn't even give a round to Matisse. Um, yeah, no. Pacquiao out threw and outlanded Matisse in all what, seven rounds. Yeah. It's a pretty one-sided beatdown. Um, I think that um, I was really impressed with Pacquiao, and I, too, was kind of um, concerned going into the fight. I was like, is this going to be the fight where all of a sudden the guy's just not any good anymore? Because that happens when a fighter ages. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know, even like categorically a fighter like Manny Pacquiao who relies so much on um, physical gifts like speed and explosiveness stuff like that um, I thought that at 39 he would already be falling off a cliff but he's not falling off a cliff he's not at the top anymore no yeah the 2008 2009 2010 version of Manny Pacquiao that guy that was a sight to behold and that guy hasn't been around since back then. Yeah. But what we have now is still a really good top welterweight. Yeah. And what the I think the most um, admirable thing of it all is that Pacquiao isn't really a legitimate welterweight, right? He, he moved up in weight so much. So when even at welterweight, um, he's fighting guys that are bigger than him um, mm -hmm. naturally, and he's still able to perform at such a high level. It's amazing. It's amazing yeah. To see. Yeah. I will say that, uh, you know, given the opponent, so Matisse, um, we did see Pacquiao against somebody that also hasn't been at, at his potential, that we all thought Matisse was going to be back when he first came on the scene. I remember myself and, like, lots of Twitter friends, like, we all thought, like, Matisse was amazing. Before he and fought he was gonna be amazing. Andy Garcia, yeah. Um, so, uh, we know that the Matisse didn't reach the potential we had all made up in our minds. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I am aware that Pacquiao, like, who, who his opponent was last night. And, um... Yeah. So... But you can't, like, I saw a lot on Twitter of people going different ways with their takes on the fight. And one of the ways that I don't like is to suggest that uh, Pacquiao's performance doesn't mean anything because it was against Matisse, which isn't what you were saying, but some people will kind of take that too far. Matisse is a former world champion at junior welterweight, and I mean, he's he's a good welterweight. He's He wasn't ranked among the top 10 of welterweights by the TBRB, mm -hmm. but is according to the ring, so he's kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah. so like I feel like that's fair, and Pacquiao at 39, coming off a loss to Jeff Horn, which again, I don't think he lost that fight. But still, like, who knows what that does to a, a fighter's psyche and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I was really um, happy with 
like the night kind of was a crescendo for me because when we started the fight, I was really sad. I felt sad because I was like, man, Manny Pacquiao used to be the biggest boxing star in the world. And now he's fighting, you know, like, and just to set up for the ESPN Plus app, like, they have, like, how many cameras they have? They're, like, two, and they're pretty far from the ring. And so everything just looked, like, shoddy and, yeah. like, cheap, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the, I don't, just the whole production value was really poor um, for a fighter of Manny Cal, uh, a fighter of Manny Pacquiao's caliber. And it, and it made me sad. I was like, man, this is like when Roy... Jones Jr. is fighting over there in Pensacola or whatever against, <laughs> who knows. And that's fine. Like, they can do that. Fighters can do that if they want. But I wasn't ready to see Pacquiao like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't even know I was going to feel that way. But then I did. But then to see his excellent performance and just how good he fought, um, I was really happy with how the night turned out. Yeah. And I will, will say that uh, uh, regarding maybe people's uh, takes on the fight and whatnot, um, regardless of, of the opponent like being the Chise and what you think about that, I think that we can extrapolate from Manny's performance that he did really well. Um, so some of his weaknesses in prior fights, recent fights, has been not giving his all, taking breaks or rounds off, um, and not fighting with like a ferocity, right? Like, uh, like that guy's not going to knock anybody out because he doesn't really care to. I didn't see that last night in the fight. So regardless of Matisse's skill level and wherever you think that is, what I saw in Manny was somebody who, who fought all seven rounds and fought with some vigor. And that's what I wanted to see. Um, I don't really want to see Pacquiao fight anymore if his uh, heart is in um, his work, like as a politician or um, in the Philippines, and that's where his heart is and he can't give like a hundred percent to boxing, um, then I, I didn't like. I didn't want to see the Pacquiao we saw against Jeff Horn. I don't need to see that anymore. You know, yeah. like I that's why I was like done. Let's let Pacquiao like retire and you move on. But Pacquiao, this like I can, yeah, 